Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about pancreatic cancer and specifically why you need genetic testing if you've been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer or if you have a close relative with pancreatic cancer. So I'm going to be talking about the benefits of genetic testing and stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm also going to be talking about what options you have if your genetic testing is negative. So about 10% of all pancreatic cancer is due to an inherited genetic mutation. And in those families with a hereditary predisposition to pancreatic cancer, we typically expect to see certain patterns of cancer in the family. First of all, we expect to see multiple relatives diagnosed with cancer, as well as multiple generations affected by cancer. And specific types of cancers are more likely to be hereditary, such as pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colon cancer, polyps in the colon as well. But even if you come from a family where there are no other cancers in the family, you qualify for genetic testing. Anyone with pancreatic cancer, regardless of the age of diagnosis and regardless of their family history, should have genetic testing, according to the National Comprehensive Cancer Network. So this has been recommended and therefore your insurance should cover the cost of genetic testing. And when I'm talking about genetic testing, really what you should be having is comprehensive genetic testing through a multi-gene panel. So you shouldn't just be tested for one or two common genes, but really you should have a panel of all of the pancreatic cancer genes that we know of. And here I'm going to list a few of the most important ones, but there are many others. There's about 20 that we know of that are linked either to pancreatic cancer directly or that predispose to hereditary pancreatitis, which is an important risk factor for pancreatic cancer. So you should be having comprehensive genetic testing. Now, the first benefit of having genetic testing is possibly increasing your treatment options. If you have genetic testing and you're found to have a mutation, you may be eligible to be treated with different options. So the first one I'll talk about is a class of drugs called PARP inhibitors. And these are drugs that were developed specifically for people who have a genetic mutation, either that they inherited or that is present in their tumor. In December 2019, one of the PARP inhibitors called Olaparib, or the brand name is Limparza, was approved by the FDA for people with pancreatic cancer who have a mutation in either BRCA1 or BRCA2. The other treatment which could be important for you is immunotherapy. Patients who have pancreatic cancer and are found to have Lynch syndrome could benefit from immunotherapy. And lastly is the option of platinum-based chemotherapy. So this is something that's available to people with mutations or without mutations, but having a mutation in certain genes acts as a predictor of better response to platinum-based chemotherapy. So what that means is if you treat a group of patients with pancreatic cancer, some of whom have a mutation and some of who don't, and again, I'm talking about a mutation either that is inherited or that is present in the tumor, the patients who have a mutation are more likely to respond better to the platinum-based chemotherapy than the patients who don't. So those three treatment options are really influenced by your genetic test results. The other reason why it's important to identify a possible hereditary predisposition to pancreatic cancer is that there may be a lot of family members who are at risk to develop pancreatic cancer. And we have certain screening tools that could be offered to these people in the family that are found to be at high risk. Pancreas cancer screening can be done with a combination of a specialized MRI of the pancreas and endoscopic ultrasound. So finding out that there is a genetic mutation can directly impact your relatives. Also, a lot of genes that are associated with a higher risk of pancreatic cancer can be associated with a higher risk of other types of cancers, such as breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colon cancer, and we have very good options available to help reduce the risks of those cancers. So genetic testing, whether you have pancreatic cancer or you have a family history of pancreatic cancer can be really, really beneficial. If you underwent genetic testing because of your family history of pancreatic cancer and your genetic testing was all normal, all negative, well, that's good news. That means that a lot of really high risk cancer genes have been ruled out, but we're still left with a question of what is causing all this pancreas cancer in your family. You could have what is called familial pancreatic cancer, meaning we see a lot of cases of pancreas cancer in the family, but we haven't been able to figure out what the genetic cause of that is. Or there could be a mutation in your family, which you were lucky enough not to inherit. In either case, as long as your family history of pancreas cancer remains unexplained, if there is a sufficiently strong family history, you may still qualify for that extra screening with the MRI and the endoscopic ultrasound. So talk to your doctor about your family history. If your testing was negative, I would also recommend that you talk to other relatives about getting genetic testing because maybe you didn't inherit a mutation that is 
present in your family, but maybe another relative did, and that could be really beneficial to them. Also, if a mutation is found, let's say, in your sibling or in a cousin, and that helps to explain why there's pancreas cancer in your family, and this was something that you tested negative for, then we can be really reassuring about your negative test result because that would be considered what we call a true negative, meaning the cause of the cancer in the family has been explained and you were found not to have that genetic cause. So then we can be reassuring about your cancer risk. Your risk may be similar to the general population risk and you don't need all this excess screening. So genetic testing in the context of a family history of cancer is really important for you and your relatives. Aside from family history, there are other risk factors for pancreatic cancer, and some of which are modifiable that I'll mention here. So smoking is an important risk factor for pancreatic cancer, as is obesity, as well as eating a diet that is high in red meat and processed meat. So these last three, smoking, obesity, and diet, are more modifiable. So that is something that you should keep in mind. Now, if you had genetic testing because you have pancreatic cancer and your testing was all negative, what options are available to you? Well, number one, make sure that you also have genetic testing of the tumor itself. Like I mentioned before, simply having a mutation in the tumor, even if you don't have an inherited mutation, could make you eligible for those treatments that I mentioned earlier. So make sure that you talk to your doctor about having tumor genetic testing, or what we call molecular profiling of the tumor. The other thing is that we don't know everything about the genetics of pancreas cancer at this point in time. We know a lot, but there's probably going to be other genes in the future that will learn have a connection with pancreatic cancer. So something I talk about often with my patients that have pancreatic cancer is the option of DNA banking. DNA banking involves providing a blood sample, which we send to a lab, and in the lab they extract DNA that is then saved in the lab for many years. It could be 50 years or longer. And that DNA is available there for your family to request in the future when we may have more genetic testing options. So DNA banking can really be a gift to your family because they may be able to get answers five years or 10 years down the line. In the description box below, I'm going to link to a lab that offers DNA banking. I'm sure there are many labs, but this is one that I've used many times with patients and I find that their DNA banking process is very efficient. The lab is called Prevention Genetics, and I'm going to link to their webpage where they talk more in detail about the DNA banking process. So in summary, the benefits of genetic testing are treatment options and screening and cancer prevention for family members. If the genetic testing is negative, some family members may still be eligible for screening of the pancreas, and there's also the option of DNA banking, which is important to consider. So in the description box below, I'm also going to link to the National Society of Genetic Counselors, where you can find a genetic counselor near you who specializes in cancer to talk about genetic testing. And you can meet a genetic counselor either in person or remotely through phone or video and get the genetic testing process started. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I upload every Friday. Thanks for watching and see you next week. If you had genetic testing and you were found to have Lynch syndrome, check out this video where I talk about Lynch syndrome in a lot of detail. Or if you want to learn more about the red flags that we could expect to see in a hereditary cancer syndrome, check out this video. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. Bye.